Gaming mice have changed a lot in the past few years, and we're at the point where the best wireless gaming mice have the same or even lower latency than some wired gaming mice. You might still prefer the reliability of a wired connection, but the difference isn't noticeable in most cases. When looking for the right gaming mouse, you'll want to find one that fits your hand size and is suitable for your preferred grip types. It should also have a high polling rate and low click latency. Mice aren't one size fits all and you'll want to choose a mouse that complements the kinds of games you like to play. For example, you may prefer a lightweight option if you're into FPS games, or you may want a more versatile mouse with lots of side buttons if you play MOBAS, MMOs, or Battle Royales. We've tested over 150 mice, most of which are gaming mice. We've listed our top picks for a range of genres and uses. And as always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description below. And if I'm able to get any discounts or coupon codes, I'll include those for you as well. Now let's get started. Number 5. Steel Series Rival 5. Our top 5th posteen goes to the Steel Series Rival 5 for being impressively capable and stunningly affordable. This pick doesn't leave much else to be desired with its $60 price point and versatility. Impressively, Steel Series actually increased the number of buttons available on the Rival 5 over those found on the Rival 600. You get your usual assortment, plus a third thumb button situated near the front of the mouse as well as a two-way, flickable button above the back and forward buttons. This makes it a great combo of an average gaming mouse and MMO or MOBA option. The Steel Series Rival 5 follows the trend of gaming mice shedding weight, as it's slightly cut back from the Rival 600. Part of that weight loss may come from the omission of a depth sensor, but the Rival 5 Seconds True Move Air optical sensor still provides solid tracking. Being a wired option also helps contribute to its lightweight. An added perk is the considerable RGB lighting on board with a zone at the scroll wheel, a zone in the Steel Series logo on the palm rest, and two RGB strips on each side of the palm rest, each with four independent lighting zones. Number 4. Corsair Harpoon RGB Wireless The Corsair Harpoon RGB Wireless is perhaps the best gaming mouse if you're looking for an inexpensive wireless mouse from a major manufacturer. For $50 you still get a whole lot of functionality. This mouse features an ergonomic design with textured grips, a deep software suite and flawless wireless functionality. You get a powerful, high DPI sensor, functional RGB lighting and two programmable, convenient thumb buttons. It's a straightforward mouse, but it's a surprisingly good one, especially considering that it costs about $100 less than most wireless mice. Another useful feature of the Harpoon RGB wireless is that it offers Bluetooth functionality, so you can use it with tablets, smartphones and streaming devices, or with a computer if you don't feel like hooking up a USB dongle. With all the lights turned off and the mouse in Bluetooth mode, you can get up to 60 hours of battery life. Even with all the bells and whistles powered up, the mouse can last for a few days of heavy gaming, and you can recharge via USB while you play. Number 3. Razer Basilisk V3 The new Razer Basilisk V3 is, as the name suggests, the third iteration of the iconic wired rodent. It looks and feels practically identical to the V2, which admittedly isn't a bad thing at all. Designed for right-handers, the $70 Basilisk V3 retains the same flared and textured thumb rest, iconic thumb paddle, and split mouse button design of the V2. It's extremely comfortable to hold onto for hours on end and reminds me why the Basilisk Ultimate was my own favorite mouse for the longest time. You won't miss the most obvious design change, a blinding, 9-zone Razer Chroma lighting strip on the base. This new strip makes the V3 look like an otherworldly visitor ship on your desk. In addition to the scroll wheel and hump logo, lighting is customizable to your heart's content via the Razer Chroma Studio. Should you really want to engage with Razer's software, Razer is touting the new Hyper Scroll Tilt Wheel on the V3 as one of its most standout features, and for good reason. It brings two modes of use, tactile for clicky, measured scrolls, and free spin which removes any resistance to scrolling. Smart Reel is an automatic mode that switches between the two modes. Spin the wheel faster and the mouse releases the wheel into free spin which is wonderful for long web pages and documents. You get an audible click when the mouse switches modes like a gear shift. Sadly, Smart Reel is far too enthusiastic and would kick in way too often, much to my irritation. Thankfully, you can manually switch modes by pressing the button just behind the scroll wheel. I work a lot in design programs and, while the free spin makes moving around large canvases faster, it quickly becomes a problem when zooming in and out for details. This is also exacerbated by the V3's scroll acceleration which increases the scroll speed the faster you spin the wheel. 
Your mileage will vary but it's one of those things that's likely to be an acquired taste. As cool as this new scroll wheel is, I fail to find any practical use for it in games, though some of you clever folk will undoubtedly create some smart hacks. Thankfully the few real improvements aren't centered around the scroll wheel. Razer has also updated the Focus Plus optical sensor, raising it from an already absurd 20,000 dpi to 26,000 dpi but it has maintained the 650 IPS. I don't know anyone who actually games at such high DPI, but the Basilisk V3 is certainly smooth, precise, and responsive, and the extra granularity the high DPI allows helps its smooth tracking. The main mouse buttons get second-gen Razer optical mechanical switches and have crispy clicks, are fast and just as responsive as the sensor itself. I love the gentle button grooves and the subtle texture so that your fingers don't slip. I also notice the buttons are less wobbly than previous Basilisks, but we'll have to see how they hold up after several thousand clicks. The Razer Basilisk V3 is a solid iteration on an already great mouse, improving on elements without detracting from others. Those improvements are welcome too, and I honestly can't get over how good the added chroma lighting looks. The Hyper Scroll Tilt Wheel is fun though ultimately not as useful in gaming as it is in productivity work. Overall I love this new Basilisk, and it certainly leaves me excited for a wireless Basilisk V3 Ultimate. Now that's going to be some mouse. Number 2. Logitech G502 Lightspeed A lighter and wireless version of the popular Logitech G502 Hero. The wireless Logitech G502 Lightspeed is a fantastic weapon for your arsenal if you can stomach the price tag. With premium features, like six additional weights for customizing the mouse's feel, the G502 Lightspeed starts earning your investment. With Logitech's high DPI and power-efficient hero sensor, and an ample number of programmable buttons, the G502 Lightspeed is fit for any gaming genre. Its shape is familiar and comfortable, crafted in first-person shooter style. When you can't risk a wireless connection, the G502 Lightspeed also comes with a reliable cable. In addition to connecting to your PC with a wireless dongle, you can make it so you never have to connect the G502 Lightspeed to a cable at all, not even for charging. With the Logitech G PowerPlay Wireless Charging Mouse Pad, the mouse is always charged as long as the pad is plugged into a USB port. Sadly, the mouse pad takes away the ability to use either of the G502 Lightspeed's 4 grams weights and is currently $120. If you'd like a mouse that can charge wirelessly with a broader variety of mouse pads, Consider Qi charging mice, like the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro SE. Number 1. Razer Death Adder V3 Pro Razer has outdone itself with the Razer Death Adder V3 Pro, an incredibly lightweight gaming mouse that's just as impressive in performance and in battery life. Oh, and top-notch ergonomics as well, whether you've got a claw grip or a palm one. The first couple of things that you'll notice about this gaming mouse release is that it is light as a feather and just as supportive as the best ergonomic mice thanks to the painstaking attention to detail when it comes to its form. We found during out tests that all the bump, curves, dips and button placements are strategically positioned to give users the best and most comfortable experience. Naturally, its performance is no slouch either, keeping up with the fast-paced games we tested it on and its optical switches delivering those satisfying clicks. Finally, there's the battery life of 90 hours. We used it for a week for about 8 or more hours a day and didn't charge the mouse once. It's a little on the pricier side, but wouldn't you rather invest on the best gaming mouse that does it all and lasts a lifetime than have to upgrade every year or so? So that wraps up our list of the best gaming mouse. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Also, please feel free to leave a comment, suggestions for future videos or questions you have, as we love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to our valid consumer family. We've got lots more videos coming your way into. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.